In a historic moment, China has unveiled the Fujian, the world's most advanced aircraft carrier. A technological marvel equipped with next-generation electromagnetic launch systems and a massive flight deck stretching across the horizon. This warship isn't just another addition to China's navy. It's a declaration that Beijing has joined the elite league of nations capable of building true supercarriers. Named after the province facing Taiwan, Fujian stands as both a symbol of pride and a signal to the world. This is Type 003 Fujian, China's supercarrier, a ship that could redefine naval warfare and shift global power at sea. China's journey to this point has been nothing short of astonishing. Barely 20 years ago, the People's Liberation Army Navy had no aircraft carriers at all. Their first, the Liaoning, was an old Soviet ship bought from Ukraine and painstakingly refitted in China. It wasn't a frontline warship, but a floating classroom, a testbed where China's first carrier pilots and engineers learned the art of carrier operations. Then came the Shandong, China's first domestically built carrier. A proud achievement, proving China could design and assemble one from the keel up. But even Shandong still relied on outdated ski jump ramps, limiting how heavy or far its aircraft could fly. In a historic moment, China has unveiled the Fujian, the world's most advanced aircraft carrier. So what makes Fujian truly different? Let's take a closer look. It's classified as Type 003 aircraft carrier, displacing between 80 and 85,000 tons. That's almost the size of America's Nimitz and Ford-class carriers. At 316 meters in length, this floating fortress is longer than three football fields placed end-to-end. The key innovation lies in its launch system, the Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System, or EMALS. Unlike older carriers that use steam power, EMALS uses pure electromagnetic force to catapult aircraft into the sky. The result? Smoother takeoffs, faster acceleration, and far less stress on the aircraft. This means Fujian can launch heavier and more advanced planes, like the stealthy J-35 fighter and the KJ-600 early warning aircraft. More missions per day, longer ranges, greater striking power. And inside, it's just as advanced. State-of-the-art radar, digital combat systems, high levels of automation that reduce crew workload and boost efficiency. It can carry around 60 aircraft, a balanced mix of fighters, support planes, and helicopters. Every system on board built with one goal in mind, dominance at sea. The launch of Fujian marks more than just engineering progress. It signals China's arrival as a true global naval power. For decades, the United States has ruled the oceans with its carrier strike groups. Now, Fujian gives China the capability to project power far beyond its coastline. It can operate stealth fighters and surveillance aircraft deep into contested regions, from the Taiwan Strait to the South China Sea and across the Indo-Pacific. This ship allows Beijing to influence events thousands of kilometers from home. It's not just a weapon, it's a message a clear reminder that naval dominance is no longer a one-nation game. 